It was nicer to watch than just a floated one. I think with the, the knuckleball, it can, it can go anywhere. I suppose you go into your back garden with your friends and yeah, you throw a ball up and you try and do it. I think you have to start from the bottom and, and build your way up. The more you practice, like, like anyone will tell you, the better you get at it just by watching players on TV like I've done. Today we get to hang out with Gareth Bale and speak to him about knuckleballs, bicycle kicks and much more. So keep watching. I'm here at the Real Madrid training ground with the man, the myth, the legend, Gareth Bale. How are you? Good, thank you. Life is good? Not too bad. Perfect. So, I wanted to start by asking you something about Champions League. You know, obviously you've had insane success in the tournament. In your opinion, you know, what makes Champions League the most precious club tournament in the world? First and foremost, I think it's the biggest club tournament in the world with the best teams uh, from Europe. So uh, yeah, you're testing yourselves against the best teams, the best players in the world. And uh, yeah, ultimately when you win, it's, it's the biggest prize. <laughs> you have basically managed to you know, crack the system. You know, what's the secret to doing well in the Champions League? Um, I don't necessarily think there's a secret, but I think we believe that we can, we can beat every team. Uh, obviously, when you come to the Bernabeu, every European night is special. The atmosphere is a bit more electric, and um, yeah, we just have a knack of winning in this tournament. What would you say is the importance of team spirit in the you know, top level football? Yeah, no, it's massive. I think uh, if your team's not united together, then it's, it's difficult. I think uh, the one thing we have got is a very good dressing room. Everyone's uh, very together, the character's good, and uh, yeah, it shows on the pitch, especially if, if, we're, if we're losing and we need to come back. We, we always fight through and, and come through in the end. Football boots. You know, you seem like a guy who you have some strong opinions on boots. So you know, what is the Gareth Bale criteria? Like, what makes a boot good for you? Um, I think first of all, it's fitted really well. I don't like any space in my in my boot at all. I like it to be very fitted. I like it to be light um, and something that doesn't really stretch too much. Because when I'm pushing off, I want to feel stable. So yeah, they're my uh, and I prefer red. I like red on a boot. Yeah. yeah. Why? Wales. Wales. I get that. <laughs> what about, you know, the footballs? Uh, you, you know, especially for your shooting technique, you know, your, your knuckleballs and top spins. What do you think about the new Champions League ball? Yeah, this is this is good now. This this ball it moves a bit more for us. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I really like the the design as well. It's really good and um, yeah, the way it flies in the air it goes a little bit quicker as well. So, it's nice. <laughs> I have to ask you about your bicycle kick goal. Probably many people have wanted to know something about it, you know. Like, how can you come up with something like that in the heat of the moment? Where does it come from? Um, I think you practice it through through your life when you're a kid, when you're, when you're in training. And um, yeah, it's one of those moments where I suppose it's you more go off your instinct, your reaction to, to just get yourself in the position to, to get a shot on goal. And um, yeah, thankfully it came up. And I mentioned your, you know, knuckleball, free kick technique, top spin. What was the, you know, inspiration for you? Like, why did you start practicing that technique? Um, I just found that it was it was nicer to watch than just a floated one. I think with the the knuckleball, it can it can go anywhere. It can be a spectacular goal, or it can maybe go into row Z. So, uh, but I found when you did catch it perfectly, it was it was it was probably the the best strike on goal that you can get. And if you can, you know, break it down to like some simple steps, like, you know, where does this, what is a successful knuckleball for you? One that goes in the net. <laughs> but yeah, I think... Okay, maybe I have to rephrase, <laughs> like, you know, what kind of things you do in order to shoot a successful knuckleball? I think as little spin on the ball as possible, that's normally what makes the ball move. Um, 
And even if you hit a bad one in terms of where you're aiming to on the goal and it goes to the keeper, it always makes it difficult for them to, to be able to catch it. So, um, yeah, I think the great thing with a knuckleball is wherever you do put it on the goal, it gives the keeper a problem, even if it's right next to them. And do you find sometimes when you started practicing, because again, you know, the kids, they want to shoot the ball like Gareth Bale. You know, but where can they start? Because it's in a way, it's kind of an unnatural way of shooting for you know the traditional yeah. people. Yeah, it's not all easy stuff, but um, I think it's just basically I, it's hard to explain. But just trying to strike it cleanly, um, maybe hitting slightly up on it to to not get that backspin on the ball that most people will get. And um, yeah, it's, it's difficult to describe, but. Yeah, I'm sure there's, there's plenty of things on online to, to really go into real detail to show you how to do it. Lovely, that's all Perfect. I have. Cheers, mate. Cool. And there you have it, guys and girls. Some tips from Gareth Bale himself on how to master the knuckleball. If you want to see a full knuckleball tutorial we've made previously, you can check out the video in the bottom left corner of your screen. Also, make sure to smash that like button to let us know you've enjoyed the video and before you leave, comment down below and tell us who's your favorite free kick taker in the world and why. That's it for today. It's